Well, Dr. Pompa here with what I feel is an urgent message. You know, I just got done watching a piece on Fox News. It was also on CBS and some other channels. And I got really fired up after two pieces right in a row. The first one headlines like this. And I don't know if you can see it from there, but it says daily aspirin may not prevent heart attacks. Study finds. Well, I got fired up right off the bat because, and my son had to listen to uh, listen to me, and he's the one that said, "Dad, you should just do a video," um, because they need to hear it. What I said to him was, "I said, Isaac, I have been telling people this for at least ten years. I think longer. Matter of fact, I remember years ago reading a study that showed that." over five years, people taking aspirin, it actually increased the risk of stroke. And I had been warning people about this for years and years and years. Matter of fact, I got fired up because I take, I took some criticism in the past because people said, doctors have said to me, are you a cardiologist? You know, how dare you talk about something you don't know? You know, my response back was, no, I'm not a cardiologist, but I know how to read. You know, and I actually take time to read the studies. Well, you know, this is going to be brushed under the rug. You see, it's going to come out today, and that's the other reason I'm fired up, is because it's going to come out today that, you know, it's not what we think. You know what this says? It says the study showed, uh, which involved 14,000 Japanese for five years. That's a pretty significant study, don't you think? He said between the ages of 60 and 85, that's where most people are taking it at those ages, found no difference in heart attack-related deaths um, or non-fatal heart attacks in strokes between the people who took the aspirin and those who did not. Well, you know, I would argue that even though they didn't notice a difference, if they get on it or stay on it longer than five years, studies show that it actually could cause heart attack. Go figure. So yeah, I get fired up because you know what's going to happen to this study? It's going to be brushed under the rug, just like I said, and people are going to go on taking their aspirin because that is a culture coat. It is accepted in culture code, but always, whatever you hear from the media, go 180 degrees opposite, and somehow the truth lies there. You know what led this one? Same, I said there was two that fired me up. Something I've been saying for at least 10 years as well, that antibacterial soaps cause liver damage. The word was may. The study showed that it is showing that in fact it is. I've been saying it for years. So that all these antibacterial subs, they're unavoidable, right? Everywhere we go, it's antibacterial, antibacterial. Yeah, we know that triclosan is something that's in there that can cause and lead to liver problems. But what about destroying the microbiome? And we know now that when you destroy the microbiome, you're causing things like hormone problems, weight loss resistance, immune problems, and the list goes on and on. Two things right in a row that I've been saying for years have taken a lot of heat for oftentimes, but darn it, it comes out that it's true. But again, it will be brushed under the rug and everyone 180 degrees opposite. Bacteria is good for you. You know, when will it actually take root? Do the opposite and somehow you hit it right every time. 180 degree solution, folks. That's the difference. If everyone's making a right, make a left. I hope this helps.